Avengers Endgame has got to be one of the most satisfying movies of all time. Not only is it a financial success, but it's also a massive success in long-term storytelling. It's the culmination of over a decade of storytelling paying off in the most epic way it can. But one portion of this writing has seemed to annoy a lot of fans. That being the character arc of the Hulk. A lot of people have seemed to be unsatisfied by how he's just magically turned into Professor Hulk off screen. Now even though I can't see how people are complaining about this, that doesn't mean it's looking all bad for the big green banner. Hey guys, my name is DJ and today I tell you why you shouldn't be worried about the Hulk after Endgame. Now, there are too many interesting dynamics for people to really complain. Everybody seems to be saying things like the Hulk's lost his character depth. And that's kind of true. Bruce Banner combining with the Hulk does change how he is portrayed and written. Instead of Bruce Banner being scared of the Hulk, nervous as to what he could do, he has now decided to align himself with him. Bruce's one major character flaw has seemingly been taken away from him. Instead of the Hulk being Bruce's fear, he's now his buddy. Now on the one hand, this could leave us with a boring character with no flaws to him. However, I don't believe that that's the case. Before we continue on, I want to mention something that the MCU seems to be hinting at about the Hulk's character. Instead of the Hulk being just an avid rage monster as a part of Bruce, it almost seems as though something much more different. Is happening. In Thor Ragnarok, we saw the Hulk almost create his own personality. Instead of being a representation of the anger held inside Banner, the Hulk has almost become an alternate personality in his own right. So what it seems to be portraying in Thor Ragnarok is the Hulk with his own motives and emotions. Instead of being this angry, violent monster, the Hulk personality seems to be having a lot more character depth than is typically portrayed. He can have a semi-complex conversation, he can make friends, and he can act calmly. Yes, you heard me. The Hulk was acting calmly. The one state that Bruce Banner prays for whenever he turns into the Hulk didn't work. The one constant weakness of the Hulk, his ability to calm down, was stripped away from him. And the Hulk personality created enough control inside the vessel of Banner to take over that vessel for years. Because this X Factor, you know, his ability to remain calm and turn back into Banner, was stripped away. The Hulk having his own thoughts and emotions was also shown in Infinity War when the Hulk refused to come out and join the fight. The Hulk felt insecure, even scared, to come out and fight alongside the Avengers after losing a brawl against Thanos in the beginning of the movie. So, off the basis of the Hulk being this alternate personality with its own complex emotions and ideas, plenty of interesting scenarios could start to form in the MCU. What I think could happen, and what I think the MCU has been teasing, is a bit of a reverse of the scenario that we're used to. Instead of Bruce being more scared of the Hulk, I think a much more interesting scenario has come to fruition. What if instead of the Hulk being Bruce Banner's character flaw, what if Bruce Banner is the Hulk's character flaw? Okay, I understand how that might not make much sense, but, but hear me out. We can already see how Bruce Banner effectively runs the Hulk's life and needs. Bruce has pretty much stopped most of the urge to break and destroy things. Of course, the love of destroying things is pretty much the Hulk's main character. You can even see it here. <laughs> Instead of Bruce Banner almost allowing the Hulk to just let loose, he's been muddled down inside Bruce Banner. He is trapped inside him. This has led to a bit of a role reversal in Bruce's head. Whatever happened over the five years between Infinity War and Endgame gave Bruce a psychological advantage over his green counterpart. Bruce now runs the show. He has gained full control over the Hulk, only having to sacrifice his, well, skin color and physique. So perhaps we could see the Hulk's personality almost flip-flop to Banner's usual demeanor. As Bruce Banner has taken over the driver's seat, perhaps the Hulk is now scared. 
scared that he will fade into obscurity now that Banner has regained control of his life. We even saw another little glimpse of this idea in Endgame. As Professor Hulk was trying to get the Time Stone from the Ancient One, we could see Bruce Banner's soul was pushed out of the Hulk's body. Notice how he said Bruce Banner's soul specifically. Perhaps due to only Bruce Banner's soul being pushed out of the body, the Hulk could start to question his own self-worth. If Bruce Banner is the only true soul in this vessel, perhaps the Hulk has just become a useless entity. This could be an interesting scenario where the Hulk, now scared, really wonders who controls who. Instead of Bruce fearing that Hulk could burst out at any time, perhaps the Hulk does fear that Bruce Banner just has full control and lets him burst out whenever he deems fit. So instead of the Hulk coming out whenever he needs to smash, perhaps Bruce Banner has finally learned how to control whenever he does, eventually. Hulk out! Anyways, that's gonna have to be the end of this video here. Did you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more of my over-analytic and dorky content, why not check out this video here? And while you're staring at this outro screen, why not click this little subscribe button? Anyways, hope you have a good day. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Yo.